critical to quality characteristics, or CTQs, are the factors or parameters that are the major drivers of quality within an organization or process. Usually, CTQs are key characteristics that can be measured, where the performance of said metric provides information about whether or not the customer is going to be satisfied. CTQs are closely related to CTCs, or critical to customer characteristics, but they are not the same thing. Something can be critical to quality even critical to how a customer ultimately feels about a service or product without being critical to the customer directly. CTQs are internal concerns, but they drive CTCs. Let's look at some examples of CTQs and CTCs to understand the difference and the relationship between these two factors. Example 1. Let's take a pair of pants. When a customer purchases a pair of pants, he or she is usually concerned with how the pants fit and look. Are they comfortable? Is the size correct? And does the clothing match the customer's personal style? It's hard to create a measurement for whether pants are comfortable, but a manufacturer can take customer feedback on various types of pants and learn that a certain fabric with a certain cut is most comfortable for the target audience. The manufacturer can also determine appropriate measurements for each size. During the manufacturing process, these critical to quality factors are applied, only fabric that meets the specifications identified is used. The fabric is then cut to specific measurements and sewn together in a specific manner. Measurements and sewing methods are critical to quality. The average customer, however, doesn't want to hear about the exact measurements of each fabric piece or the way the seams were sewn. They want to put on a pair of pants and experience a comfortable fit. Example 2. Let's consider chocolate bars. A chocolate company conducts a survey to find out why sales of its newest product haven't performed as expected. The feedback suggests that the chocolate is too sweet, the taste and the sweetness of the chocolate is a critical to customer characteristic. The company might tweak its formula, reducing the amount of sugar that goes into the chocolate. The recipe and the amount of sugar is a critical to quality factor in this case. But what if the customer feedback indicated that health-conscious consumers simply didn't want to buy a chocolate bar with so much sugar in it? Then the amount of sugar in the recipe becomes both a CTQ and a CTC. It is critical to the quality of the taste of the bar, but customers might also look at the nutritional information on the bar and make purchasing decisions based on the amount of sugar in the chocolate. Let's take another example about mobile application development. If a business wants to launch a mobile app for its customers, then an obvious customer-centric need is that the app works on the customer's phone. The customer doesn't care about the process the business needs to go through to launch the app on the platform in question, but the business must meet the criteria for Apple, Android, Windows, or other mobile operating systems. Those requirements become some of the CTQs for the mobile app development, even though certain requirements from the platforms might not appear to be at all related to statements from customers about desires or needs. So, hopefully the concept about CTQs or critical to quality characteristics is clear by now. But why do we need to identify the CTQs? In a process improvement environment, CTQs are critical to narrowing work scope and understanding how to enact change. Consider the 80-20 rule discussed in earlier lectures. Often, CTQs are the factors, characteristics, or outputs that drive 80% of customer satisfaction. By improving these few critical factors, teams can substantially impact customer satisfaction and the performance of the overall process. Identifying CTQs lets teams create the most improvement possible with the time, money, and people resources available. Outside of a project environment, understanding CTQs lets organizations stay on top of quality. By managing a few critical metrics, teams can ensure excellent output in a continuous fashion and identify potential areas for improvement before they become customer-facing problems.